Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's Sync AI webinar. This is how to get started, what Sync AI is, and how to successfully use it. So if you are here with me live, I'd be very curious to know, are you currently using AI or are you interested in using AI? Um, do you have experience using an AI with another product? And maybe you're just new to Sync AI. Go ahead and let me know if you're here with me live. Yes, I'm currently using Sync AI. No, currently not using Sync AI. And then you can even say, but I've used AI from somewhere else. So what I do have for us today is um, going to be just a series of slides where we're going to kind of talk through what Sync AI is, the intention around it when the feature was built in Sync, and then we'll switch gears and talk a little bit about how to successfully use it and some tips and tricks to using it. So we're going to get started and talk about why Sync AI was developed in the first place, because up until about a year and a half ago, when we started our beta program for Sync AI, we did not have that artificial intelligence piece. What we found out, though, when we were talking to our agents, you know, successful site owners that have been with Sync for a long time, is that there was a gap in um, our communications style would think of trying to meet people exactly when they were um, available and when they were interested in talking to someone. We had behavioral messaging, which played a small role in that, um, but there was nothing that was kind of always rolling in the background looking for leads when they were available and interested to speak to someone. Now, when we're working with internet leads too, we are trying to get in touch with strangers, right? People that don't know us, they don't know that we have good intentions of helping them, you know, get into a new home or to sell their home. So we were just missing this kind of conversational, um, ever present type of communication tool um, to help you get in touch with more leads. So in looking at how internet leads behave, we were reminded that buying and selling a home is an emotional process. Of course, buying a home is an emotional purchase and then leaving a home, selling a home, that can also be emotional as well. Um, so when we were looking at Sync AI, we had to think about how do we meet buyers and sellers where they are, knowing that this is the beginning of an emotional process for them. We also had to recognize that we are all busy, right? How many of us have, you know, dozens of unread emails? Um, they could just be sales emails that we're just not going to open, but our inboxes are full. Our phones are dinging every second with a text message or a notification. We've got appointments to go to both personal and professional. We have families. Um, we have homes to take care of. We have hobbies, right? We're all super busy. Um, and again, when we're looking at Sync AI, we had to ask ourselves, how do we cut through all of that noise. Finally, we also had to think about how people use technology now. Um, when we want a solution to cut through the noise, to be more efficient, we do turn to technology. And so, yes, we could look at how to send more effective direct mail. Yes, we can, you know, always talk about how important phone calls and building that, you know, rapport with the lead is. But a lot of us do turn to technology to help make connections and, again, break through the noise and be more efficient. So with that, we had to think if we need something that does all of that, we need something that is going to help us be more effective, be more productive, cut through the busyness that we have, and really be able to meet people during that emotional process. We had to scale human connection, which can be really difficult, but that was what we were tasked with. How do we scale that actual person to person connection that helps us go from strangers to whatever that next part of our relationship will be? And so putting all of that together is how we developed Sync AI. We knew that Sync AI needed to have certain features to make it more effective um, and to make it worthwhile for us, first of all, to build and then for you to use. So we knew that it needed to meet people where they are, when they're interested and when they're available. So we knew that this feature had to work 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. We knew that it had to work for people who worked a, trad a traditional day shift and it had to work for people who worked a traditional 
traditional night shift. And it had to work for people who maybe work both because they have multiple jobs, right? We knew that this couldn't just be something that works during business hours because sometimes people are available and interested to connect on their home buying or selling process outside of those normal business hours. We knew that we had access to some really amazing things to help build this feature. First of all, we had what we are calling intelligent data. And that intelligent data is the data that already lives inside your database. So your sync dashboard is a treasure trove of intelligent data about when a lead logs in, what they're looking for, um, what homes they've actually looked at. Are they opening emails? Do they use a desktop or a mobile phone? There's so much rich data that we knew that we could pull on that to help make this a more full, robust AI experience. Then we had the adaptive technology of Sync AI. We partnered with a successful AI company called Structurally, and we actually borrowed their technology and reworked it to work within our system. But we have that adaptive technology of working with people who've been there, done that, already built it, that could really help us make this, again, super powerful. And then the third component of AI is the power scripts. So these scripts were not written by someone who has never sold real estate, who doesn't really understand how to have conversations. Instead of taking that typical script, which is what typical scripts do um, in AI, they're typically written by people who work for the technology company and not by the people who will use it. So instead, we had our scripting written by the actual people who utilize Sync and utilize Sync AI. We um, had many meetings and we continue to over several months meeting for hours at a time, just looking at every Every different scenario, different responses that can that can come from a lead and how the AI should handle that. So this was written by partially the Sync Live Events team, which I'm on, that is composed of um, real Sync owners who are Sync or who are real estate brokers, I should say, um, as well as our seat conversion specialist. And then those scripts were beta tested. We really beat them up to make sure that they could withstand that real human connection element that we were looking for. I forgot that I put these slides in here. So we're just gonna go through them because I just described what all three of those were. <laughs> One thing I will um, mention or kind of put on here is that we did, because we wanted to make this seem even more human, you will see AI very infrequently, but occasionally make a tiny bit of a mistake. And then they will actually come back and correct themselves. So again, it looks more like a real human conversation. Excuse me. So we talked about the data, our scripting, and of course, the technology. So now that we kind of understand the thought process behind how Sync AI was created and why it was created, let's kind of break down how it actually works. So this funnel here is talking about engagements and how it actually will work with both new leads and existing leads. So let's break down what those mean. New leads, of course, are going to be leads that just registered on the site, people that just registered that said they're interested in a certain area area, um, you know, having um, a home of a certain size. And yes, we know all of that because we know what they have looked at, but we don't know that final piece of the funnel here, the motivation. So Sync AI not only is confirming time frame, search criteria, price range, finance, but it also attempts to have that conversation around motivation. So it's asking those new leads, how, um, why it is that they're looking right now, why that city, why that many bedrooms, which then when they come out the other end of the funnel, which is um, very well <laughs> illustrated here, they come out as agent ready because you get all of that information about the lead when they say, yes, I am ready to talk to someone. So Seek AI's goal is to set those appointments for you to give the lead a call and continue the conversation. Only this time, you know that they're interested, you know that they're available because we're going to ask, okay, tomorrow is, you know, afternoon, morning, afternoon, or evening better. So you're going to know they're 
they're available, know that they're interested, and know all of these details. But it doesn't only work with new leads. You also have the option to have it work with existing leads. And the existing leads work a little differently. And that if it's a new lead, we kind of know, okay, we need to start to get all this information going. But an existing lead can be someone that's been on the site, but maybe never answered a phone call, never got back in touch with us if we sent a text or an email. But what we will have it work in is behavioral messaging. So when leads perform certain actions on the site, like opening an email after a long absence or updating a phone number, or there's tons of different scenarios, when the lead responds to those behavioral messages, AI can pick up that conversation and carry the conversation again until they are agent ready, meaning ready to talk to you and agent about their home search. So it is really two pronged working with new and older active leads. So here's just a little snippet of a conversation that happened um, with a lead from Sync AI. You can see the AI conversations are here in blue and then the lead let us know um, that they had been pre-approved by the local credit union for 600,000. And so this is just a kind of um, example of how Sync AI is very conversational um, and it does more than just ask a question, get a response, ask a question, get a response. So after the lead says they have been pre-approved, it says getting your financing straight is tough. You're ahead of the game. I think I've got all the info down here that I need from you so far. I'll have my associate, that's you, follow up with you shortly to make sure you're all set with the info you need. And so this lead eventually did close for around this price here. Here's some other examples of conversations. So, hey, Emily, this is Alex, and this is a really great time for me to introduce you to Alex, your Sync AI. Um, Alex is a gender neutral name that we chose because it can be um, either male or female. It can be um, kind of looked at as your assistant in the office, and that is what a lot of people are referring to Alex as their assistant. In fact, if the lead asks, who are you? It'll say, I'm an assistant of your company name. Um, so it really is, again, that human connection. So, hey, Emily, this is Alex. I noticed you were looking at, at home on our website. Are you looking to make a move in the next few months or just browsing? Uh, if you've been to any other sync training, you know that is super, super close to our actual opening line for a phone call. So we knew that um, we already had a great structure in those scripts. And so these text scripts were based on what we already knew worked. So this person told Alex that they were looking for a second home in the area with boat access docking. And then the AI continues the conversation. So it's prompting you to browse. That's a really powerful question, trying to get the motivation behind why now, why are you looking? So then they actually give this person a suggestion of a property that they're kind that they like. So this type of home that needs to be gated is what I'm looking for. So AI says, oh, that's interesting, helpful for us to know. I'll see what I can find for some properties like that address and get back to you. Mind telling me a little bit more about your current situation. And so then we find out that this person is kind of looking for an investment property because they're not in the area, um, that they're a cash buyer, no loan required, that they have this RV, they need turnaround access. So they're really giving AI um, this really powerful list of all their wants and needs. But AI doesn't say, great, sounds good. Are you ready to talk to an agent? They're asking, why is that area in that many bedrooms important to you? And so the conversation continues then, um, and they're letting them know about areas. So essentially, I want you to see here at the end. So we're saying, thank you again for this information. It usually makes sense to hop on a quick call to help you take the next steps. Would you prefer to call on weekdays or weekends? And they actually say, you can call now if you prefer. And they say, great, I'll have the agent. So they reference the agent by name on our team, give you a call then, and they give the number they'll be calling from. And then asking would morning, afternoon, or evening work best? Afternoon, great. 
we'll have some reach out to you then. So what happens at this point is the agent gets a notification that this lead has become agent ready and they would like a call sometime in the afternoon. It does not mean that every single conversation works out like this. And I'll show you where you can get a little bit more information about the different scenarios that these conversations can end up in. But this was a great one where even if the lead is giving us a lot of information, we're not gonna say, great, have a great day. We're actually still going to attempt to make that appointment for you to call and connect with them. Again, you're notified via text, email, and the agent app notification when they are agent ready and ready to set an appointment. We also have um, visibility for Sync AI, of course, on the desktop and from the agent app, the Sync agent app. And here's just a quick snippet of where you can find that in the leads profile in the conversations area you will see the AI conversation. So from here, I want to make sure that um, I've answered any questions that you have about Sync AI just before we go any further. So if that sparked any questions for you, if you're here with me live and you want to go ahead and put that in the chat or the q and I'd love to answer them. And then with that, we'll keep going. So when we um, released Sync AI, we saw that there was a 102% increase in all conversations with um, sites that were using Sync AI. We also saw that the response rate for text, excuse me, I went a little fast, went up 45%. And then finally, that 18% of all leads who had a conversation with Sync AI were in that agent ready status, meaning ready to set an appointment. If you are interested in getting started with Sync AI, um, you can go to syncpro.com slash sync dash AI, syncpro.com slash sync dash AI, and that will have a form that you can fill out that will go to your account manager um, who will reach out and talk to you about getting started. Now, Sync AI does have an additional cost. Um, it is a tiered cost system, and it all has to deal with engagements. And so what is an engagement? An engagement is anytime AI initiates a new conversation. So if you were working with just new leads, it would be every time it sends a that initial text to a new lead. If you were working with new lead and behavioral messaging, and in other words, as active existing leads, then it would um, be considered an engagement anytime it sends a first conversation text to a new lead and anytime they send a response to the lead's response of a behavioral message. Now, the most popular tier is the $200 tier, and that's actually the first one. Um, so about 98% of all sites that run Sync AI are in that first tier, which is just $200 per month. And if you think about 18% of all leads having a conversation turning into ready to set appoint, appointment leads, it really is a good um, ROI for that level. So let's go ahead and switch gears into the sync dashboard. I'm going to show you a couple of quick little tips and tricks when you get started to use AI. Again, remember that you can see, of course, any in the activity tab if they've had a conversation here. But also here in the conversations tab, you can see text and AI conversations here. In the automations tab, if you have turned Sync AI on for your site, you will have the ability here to give different agents um, access to Sync AI, meaning to communicate with their leads using Sync AI, and as well as if it will be for new leads or uh, only new leads or only existing leads or both new and existing leads. Of course, if you don't have Sync AI turned on yet, this is where you can click and it will take you over to find out more and for, or excuse me, it'll be an email. It'll be an email from there to um, your account manager. 
Now, one really great resource I wanted to point out to you, if you're curious about Sync AI and you're not quite sure you want some more information, a deeper dive into how it works, in the Sync Help Center, um, if you go to help.syncpro.com and look for this article, which for those here with me live, I'm going to go ahead and put into the chat really quickly. This is a really wonderful article that goes over every single thing you could ever want to know about Sync AI, and it will link you over to additional resources at the bottom. So um, there's a couple of things that I wanted to um, just touch on here. So we've already talked about a lot of this with meeting Alex, the AI um, expert. We've talked about those three different levels of the data, um, the technology, and the scripts. But there's a lot of interesting things here. Um, here is where you can see what it looks like to enable Sync AI. So where you can do it for just your new leads, your agents, new leads, um, and then your active or um, existing leads here. There are different scripts for both the new leads and the um, existing leads. You also have the ability to customize your Sync AI notifications and your profile and settings. So you get to decide how you get notified for a lead being agent ready. Um, this is just a really great article here. I wanted to make sure that I touched on it so you know that there is this really amazing resource. But you also are always free to call Sync support um, or um, for or your account manager if you have questions um, either to get started or once you get started. Some typical questions that we get, um, how can I tell if a lead is in an AI conversation? So in the leads profile, you'll see the AI card at the top of the activity feed. That's what we looked at in this leads profile here in the activity tab. And then it also lets us know um, that you will see um, in the on the leads dashboard an icon in the registration column that says AI com lead with a robot head icon. So that's just a really easy way for you to see right in this column, the registration column, if that lead is in an active conversation with AI. Another um, question that we get a lot is, can I edit an AI script and not at this time? So remember I said there's a lot of beta testing and a lot of um, brain power that went into um, developing these scripts. So we really want to stick with what we know works. Um, so no, not available for editing. Another question that I typically get a lot, what happens if I want to text a lead? So if you want to take over the conversation or maybe you don't realize they're in an AI conversation and you text them anyway, what happens? So we will end the AI conversation if you send the lead a text message. So we don't want to um, compete and have you and AI testing at the same time and really cause confusion. So if you do text the lead, we will stop any active conversation. That's called muting. I got a question about joining late. Welcome. I'm glad you're here. So where do we get the recording? Um, the recording is available at syncommunity.com slash recordings. That's syncommunity.com slash recordings, and you can get caught up on both um, this recording and any of the previous that we have uploaded there. So how do we define a lead as being ready? So a, a lead is agent ready and passed to an agent once we were able to identify all the key information that we went over previously, and they tell us that they are ready to have that conversation. Another question I typically get, if Alex cannot answer a question, what happens next? So if at any point we get to a spot where the lead is ready for an agent, like an appointment request, or Alex is stumped by the lead, we'll send a notification to the agent to take action on the lead. So if you are um, kind of nervous about like what happens if they ask a question that maybe Alex doesn't know about our local area, um, we will always send you a notification if there's ever a time where Alex gets stumped. Lee is asking a question, what's the difference between agent ready and, and interested? So it's a really good question. Agent ready means that the AI got to the point in the conversation where they asked, 
Um, you know, do you want to talk weekdays or weekends, you know, morning, afternoon, or evening? Interested kind of just means that they had a good conversation with the AI, but they didn't take that step of setting an appointment. And that's actually a really great question, Leah, because um, kind of before, when we first started putting this together, I kind of wondered, what's the point of that interested? Don't I kind of just want to know if they are, um, you know, interested in an appointment, not just interested in maybe one day buy, buying or selling. But, and the reason I bring this up, in our webinar recording gallery, which again is synccommunity.com slash recordings, in our AI webinar section here, um, these client experience webinars are really great. Um, and Rick Turley, I believe this is the one that I'm especially referencing, but really any of these are really awesome watches because they let us know, and it might even be Andrew too, it's, they were all really great, but they actually said they were having more success speaking to leads that were just interested than even the ones that were agent ready with the appointment. So calling the people who are both interested and agent ready is really paying off for a lot of agents. I've asked that question since I learned that from them um, because they, they didn't say never contact me again, right? That's not considered interested. These are people that really gave a lot of good information. Um, and when they were called, they were still very open to speaking with someone because the agent can reference, you know, um, Al, you had a great conversation with Alex, tell me a little bit more. And so these are really, really great resources for you to watch if you're interested in possibly starting Sync AI, because they'll just give you different perspectives of how different agents have actually implemented it in, into their business. So I really recommend any of these three. Um, but on, honestly, any of these are really good to watch because, um, you're just going to get different perspectives from different people. Um, outside of those three, any of the other ones on here are also going to be a little bit different um, because they were also hosted by another sync trainer. So you'll just get another perspective from there as well. It's a good question, Leah. Thank you. With that, there is a lot of different information in here. There is some additional um, Help Center articles in here. This quick start checklist is really awesome. And again, I'll put this in the chat for everyone. Um, this is going to let you know um, what works well with Sync AI. So if you use a Pond account on your site, how to work AI with that, um, what you maybe want to turn off if you start to use Sync AI, so in other words, you'd want to disable the Sync Speed to Lead Auto Track because Alex, your AI, will take over that Speed to Lead conversation. Um, if you want to use your active engaged lead um, part, then you would want to enable Sync Behavioral Messages. So this right here is a really great walkthrough that'll kind of talk you through um, all those things you want to do when you start to use Alex. And then this will kind of let you know what to be on the lookout for. So this will kind of um, help with that question too, the difference between agent ready and interested. So when you'll get a notification and what to look for. So all of this is at your disposal 24 seven. So if you wanna just explore a little bit of this before you get started, before you go to um, your syncpro.com slash sync dash AI to get started, this will kind of give you just that really um, kind of broad or kind of deeper overview than we're able to go into here. So with all that being said, that is all of my information to present. I've gotten some great questions, and so I appreciate your time. If you do have any other questions and you just need a second to type it in, let me know you're asking a question and I'll pause for a moment. While you do that, I'm just going to remind you where this recording will go. It's going to be here on this page, synccommunity.com slash recordings in the AI um, playlist here but there's a ton of different playlists here with lots of good information. So if you do wanna watch this or any of the other topics, you can always find them here at synccommunity.com slash recordings. If you wanna join me for next week's live webinar, you can do that at synccommunity.com slash webinars. It's going to be our office hours webinar, which is where you come and ask your questions. It's a true office hours. 
I don't necessarily have anything prepared like I do today. It's really for you to bring your questions, your scenarios, your I want to know a little bit more about this specific topic, and we are able to dive a little deeper into it. And then the week after, we will do accountability, which is one of my favorite topics. I'm talking about how both agents and site owners and team leads can really work together to have a more well-rounded accountability system in the platform. So all of that is here on syncommunity.com. I hope I'll see you on one of those upcoming webinars. If not, I hope I'll see you in person. <laughs> if neither of those happen, I hope that you're able to really learn a lot about AI today and we'll take advantage of the recorded webinars, but it would be a lot more fun for us to be live. So have a really great rest of the week. I hope I see you soon. And um, if you need anything in the meantime, give us a call. 855-246-2717 gets you Sync support. They're a really wonderful resource and we're all here to make sure you're as successful as possible with Sync. Bye everybody.